Behold, this is the abandoned bus that turned into an Airbnb. Can you imagine? Like, this is the University of Malaya. If you don't know, this is like a local university, like the, the very famous local university here in Malaysia. And I don't know how, somehow they had got this bus and now it's not an Airbnb. Come on, let's go in. I talk too much, right? <laughs> okay, so this is what it looks like. So they will give you a pad, the, the, the keys for the padlock and just pull like this. Okay, push. Ta da! Okay, take off the shoes first. Oh my god, that's so cool. They even have the shoe rack. Okay, here you go. We gotta to lock this door because a lot of mosquitoes coming in. Eh? Okay. Ta da! It looks pretty, right? I know. I just because I saw some converted like um, vans and like uh, transformation makeover. It takes a long time and a lot of effort to like transform the whole thing because you gotta get rid all of the bus seats and stuff like that. And now it's all completely flat. And they installed this cupboard that looks so cute. You can put a lot of things. Come on in. Come on in. Wait. You see. So you gotta turn this on, um, the lights and stuff and aircon is very important because imagine having a converted, living in a bu converted bus without an aircon. So I already turned it on because I cannot stand the weather here. And yeah, they even have Wi-Fi, hello. And yeah, this is the microwave and they also have fridge here that you can keep. And the best thing is, they have like snacks that you can, I mean, you have to buy, but still, it's still very good because there are not much food around here. <laughs> there, are, there are typically no stores, so you have to like drive out or something. Yeah, and then look at this. We have this um, board games. I mean, if you come here with your friends, I suppose you have, this is enough to like fit more than five people if you don't mind like this is like a double bed you can fit like two people already or some people can just like sleep here on the floor yeah yeah let me show you the, the bed Ta -da! the bed is very nice surprisingly oh they said please do not open the window okay I'm not gonna open because I'm scared of the mosquitoes or like some like you know I'm gonna I'm not gonna ruin the bus and yeah it's pretty nice oh, I see one mosquitoes ah! ah thanks to Malaysia man okay got it oh never mind <laughs> stay calm okay you're on a holiday in Bangsa <laughs> anyways yeah it's quite comfortable you see and I like how they have a lot of daylight in, so it looks very aesthetic, everything. You have to take a lot of photos here. Another mosquito. Girl, hang on. Let me show you a room tour first, then I'll spray the mosquitoes. Repellent or whatever. Okay. Thank God they also have air conditioner. And this like laundry bag. It's very nice. It's very like well put and very practical. Everything's like the blinders are not the old ass curtains. Hmm, very nice, very nice. But how do you turn on the lights? Okay. Ooh. Oh, come on, it's white light. <laughs> I don't like white lights, but anyways. Oh, they have towels. That's nice. I'm gonna give five star. Five stars. Okay. <sighs> okay, let's just chill for a bit because I'm tired. Oh my god, that's so weird. Look, I saw a bus come outside and it's like UM but it's so weird because I staying in one of them tonight <laughs> what is going on oh my god is this place haunted or something why did a uh... okay I'm gonna keep this open <sighs> okay now I have some time to chill right this is such a very such a nice place Ooh. See? Such a nice place. Oh yeah. They gave like a mosquito repellent. I need to put a little bit. Yeah. 
I can't believe it because I always wanted. Wait, I should like. Hi. <laughs> okay, so I always wanted to have. Oh wait, distracted. Look how close I am with the aircon. So like the cool air is blowing towards me. Anyway, so <laughs> back to the topic. So I always wanted to have like new experience caravan like in New Zealand. I see all that. It's because I always thought it's like very impossible to have caravan. Because when I before I bought the Proton, I actually thought of you know getting a caravan so I save on the rent and <laughs> save on the rent and then the car. So, but you know at the end of the day, it's not practical because uh, it's very hot in Malaysia if you want to live in caravan, and you have to like insult everything. And I'm not really like mechanical kind of person, so I don't know. I don't know how to deal with. I don't know when unless a leaking issue or like what like how are you gonna like poo and pee, so yeah, I would say this this Airbnb is like quite out of my expectation in a good way because um, the aircon is nice. I thought it's gonna be like oh and like it's very fucking hot, but it's not. They actually have a fan here. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do is um, to check the bathroom because uh, I mean obviously there won't be any bathroom or shower. In the bus because this is like quite a big bus. It's like a school room, right? So yeah, I'm gonna try out the bus. And apparently they have a tag that tag card for you to like go out to shower. I'm scared, but yeah. Guys, yeah, so this is the bus. So I'm just like walking around, right? And then there's a chicken. Holy shit! Wait, like, what's behind this bus? This is the way to your toilet, right? And oh my god, look at the chicken. Are you real? It's not moving. Hello. Let me just go a little closer. Oh hi. Guess what we're eating tonight? Grilled chicken. Yes. Hi guys. So this is the entrance that I'm gonna show you. Get a whole walk through. All right. So you have to pass through this gate. And can you see where my See, this is the bus. See, this is the bus, and this is the house. I think the owner's house or something. And this is where you park your car. But today we're gonna focus on this. Hold on, let me just give me a second. Hold on, I forgot to ah, lock the back door. Give me a second. So. It's a quite nice area because it's in the center of UM. Uh, it's quite close to Mid Valley. It's like 15 minutes away. Guys, look how cute this is. The the owner actually have chickens as I shown you just now. Um, you can pay two ringgit to get the, to feed. Oh my god! It's in SpongeBob red packet. Ah. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna feed them later. But check this out. Airbnb Green Stay Award 2021. Oh, so cute. I mean, I mean, look at this. I just know that this this owner is like very eco friendly because this is like recycled plastic or something. They turn it into a coaster. Such a nice place. Such a nice cost. Oh, look at the mirror. Anyways, yeah, this is the tag for you to like go to the toilet and stuff. Let's go. Okay, let's go to the toilet. Well. I cannot imagine going to a toilet at like at night because now it's like still six o'clock. There, there's some sunlight. I don't understand how they can live like this. I mean, no one actually lives like this. This is for Airbnb. I ever make it realistic. Oh my god, this is a long place to go to a toilet. <gasps> I saw a squirrel. Yo, can you see squirrel? Eek. Yo, oh my god. Is it because I'm a Snow White? Oh, this is a toilet, by the way. <laughs> it's just pretty dodgy because it's like all the way back to the back of the house. I'm not sure. Are we just sharing the same toilet as the owner? I've never met the owner, by the way. Like, I just got the passcode from the lock and now I'm suddenly living in a bus. <laughs> Anyways, let's go. A lot of mosquitoes, guys. Wait, I forgot to bring you in. Come on, come on. <laughs> okay, let's go. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Oh shit. Oh. 
Okay, I found the lights. <laughs> it's not bad. I mean, that's a typical sink, and you have this toilet. Oh my god, they have soap! I was wondering, like, they might not have soap, so I brought my own. And, you know, for you to pee and poo, it's not bad. Should I? Oh. oh wait. There are some slippers, so fuck. I just wore mine, so. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Anyways, yeah, let's go out. It's very stuffy here. So yeah, that's the toilet. Um, one thing the owner told me about is they don't provide you hair dryer. So if you're coming here, please bring your own hair dryer. Well, I mean, how do you expect to have like hair dryer in a bus? So when you come to stay in a bus, right? You're gonna expect like you're gonna live in a while. You see, it's just you and the trees. Even though you're in the middle of the city. <sighs> Anyways, yeah, and this is a little cute um, table that you can eat here Even though there are a lot of like ants and stuff, but it's still remember living in the wild. Oh, they have frisbee Cool, cool. Yeah. Oh, what is this? Oh, I don't know what that is. I think it's like some netball or something <laughs> Hi, look who came to stay with me and he brought his laptop. Woo! I miss staying alone in a bus because it's very scary. Okay, let me just... Okay, so because I'm too lazy to go over to the <laughs> toilet outside. So thank God you have a sink here so I can brush my teeth. So I got this uh, toothbrush from the Shell station, the petrol station. It's four four fifty for a toothbrush and four something for this. Yeah. So here's the only lock that you can lock from the inside. There's no padlock or anything. So yeah, and there's a little gap here, so mosquitoes will come in. But it's okay so far. Like there's nothing. You know, too itchy or something, but look, it's a bit creepy out here. Like, what is this? Why is there a street lamp in the backyard? That's so weird. Anyways, and this is the light, right? Uh, be crazy. So crazy. So yeah, this is what it looks like at night. You know, you have a table lamp here, and the aircon is quite close, so it's very cool. Just so you know. And yeah, don't worry about the privacy because it's quite like they have the matte glass sticker, so I don't think anyone can see it from here. And you have the blinders, everything is good, it's so comfortable. It's just like how I am in my bedroom. It's just that the ceiling is very short, so you, it's like a bit like claustrophobic, a bit, but it's okay for me. Good night, sleeping in a bus, mission accomplished, bucket list tick, yay! <laughs> Just so you know, the pillow is too fluffy, it's too soft for me. I like hard pillows, so if you're coming, just bring your own hard pillows. Yay, next morning I just woke up and this is going to be the review of how I spent one night in a converter bus. And obviously, at first I thought it was going to be like really hot because of Malaysia weather. But actually, it's so freaking cold because the aircon is just like blowing the cool air directly to me so in the <laughs> on the bed is like really cold and this is like colder than my house so i'm surprised that the power supply is actually stronger than a house like there are two icons or something like that yeah and i also don't understand how the water like i don't know where the water goes like after i wash my hands like where does the water go i don't, i didn't see any like water sewage or whatever i'm still trying to figure it out but yeah overall it's just the only downside of it is just the toilet that's outside and also like a, some mosquitoes will occasionally comes in and other than that it's just the location wise is very strategic it, it, when you go out it's already um like university of malaya and also yeah a lot of things to eat like compared to my house <laughs> so yeah if you want to bring some friends i think you can just bring like you can just bring your yeah, remember to bring your pillows and 
if you want to bring like a sleeping bag, you can also fit like I think five people if you don't mind sleep on a floor or something. Yeah, so that's all. I hope you enjoyed this review. I did this just for a content. And surprisingly, it turns out really good. So next time when I'm pretty homeless and I have a 200 ringgit spare, so I just come here. Yay! Bye!